Hi, I'm Cece, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft 1.20 SMP. I am here entering Stalkholm, and it has been a while <laughs> since I last uh, properly played. Well, that's not entirely true. I did play a lot the past couple days, but that was more prepping for today. But it's been about five months since the last episode, and I hear zombies around, so that's fun. But I've done some work around Stalkholm, just to sort of potter and get myself back into the swing of things. And I've mainly been focusing on cleaning up the area, because it was a bit uh, messy, a bit nasty, a bit plain at parts. So I've added in a bunch of like flower pots around, or flower beds. I've got a few here and here, just to add some extra colour and a bit of life. I've also gone around the entirety of this central plaza area and added in some wood to make it more structural. Before it was just deep slate and it was very grey. I am this has been a massive improvement. Uh, over here we have my this is a new building I believe since the last time I've played or well, last time I recorded. And it is my architect's building. It's not complete yet, but the interior is looking lovely so far. But back here is really, really useful. This is my uh, toolkit area, I suppose. So basically, my current like thing is trying to make like almost building boxes. So in here we've got all the supplies I use to make roofs around Stockholm. In here is all the stuff I use to make the uh, actual buildings. Over here is all the deep slate tiles I use for any flooring and stuff. And then inside here, I've got some landscaping kits. So I've got like a detail kit, I've got a cliff kit, and I have an autumn sort of foliage kit. And then over here, I've just got random stuff like banners, the mushroom blocks that I use for the walls in some areas. And I've apparently forgotten this wall, so I have to do that. I uh, got shulker box storage. Uh, some pottery shards from the last episode, uh, beds, uh, stuff did down here as well at some point. Here's some mushroom blocks. I made this room kind of just in a bit of a fugue state, like I genuinely don't remember making this, but I did make it in the past week. <laughs> but uh, it's just a little room underneath everything. So down there is like that's the central plaza and then over here connects to just like this open area. So plaza there, uh, tailors here, bakery there. And I want to have a, bu a bunch of sort of less like pretty sort of stuff down here. I don't have a complete idea but I want to get like a candle maker, I want to get a glass place somewhere. I might do that on the surface actually. But up here is what I want to work on today. This is going to be a new building which goes up here and also connects down to down here. And I'll explain what that building is in a bit. There's still a few more things I want to show. But I've been wanting to make Stockholm feel a bit more forest-like. So over here, got an entirely new forest. I actually completely forgot I did this. Why are you... I've, been, I've had a weird week. <laughs> I've been very busy, and anytime I'm not busy, I just sort of come on here and do some pottering. So, got a cliff, got a bunch of trees up there. Also, got an entrance to Stockholm, which is pretty interesting. So, over here, get a better view of it. So, this is sort of like that. This river connects you to the ocean that takes you to. Nicole's base, if you do like a bit of a weird route, and also to my new cherry blossom area. And I thought I'd have like an actual kind of wall to Stockholm to stop myself from expanding too much. I don't want to keep going, I don't want to keep pushing it too far. So this is almost the limits of Stockholm. And those trapdoors there are meant to be sort of like a fake language that Stockholm uses. So like that would mean hello or welcome or something like that. And then on the other side is the same but like I'm thinking sort of like I feel like I should have made that actually flipped so maybe like reading it this way says welcome but then if you flipped it horizontally it would say goodbye I don't know I might I might make a fake language I don't know if I can be bothered uh yeah 
So then I've, I've expanded the river a bit, and I need to actually finish this bit still. I don't know what I want to do here, so I've kind of left it open. Uh, over here, I have been expanding out the orange, I guess. I've added, a added in a bunch of new tall spruce trees, and I've also done some designing for a, like, cherry blossom. Not cherry blossom. A autumn tree. And I kind of, originally my concept for Stalkholm is that there was one big tree that was sort of like spreading leaves all over the place, but I downscaled that tree quite a bit, as you can tell. Originally it was going to be like much bigger, but I realized oh, I don't want to do that. So instead I'm just going to do some smaller trees sort of scattered around. So I've got dark oak with orange, and then over here I'm doing birch with yellow, and I think that looks a lot better. And I'm just sort of connecting up some paths that, like, really should have been connected already. I've expanded out over there, cleaned up a bunch of holes that we made. I actually just... Did I, yeah, I did, I did actually fix this up. I thought I hadn't. I still need to actually make it functional again, because a bunch of villagers died. But, yeah, I think that's everything now. But today I want to do something actually functional. And it's something that I've been meaning to do for ages, but I wasn't really sure how to do it, and I've came up with an idea now. So, this was the first building I built of central Stockholm, and it is my wood, like, shop. The issue is that since making this place, they've added more wood types, so I've actually ran out of storage, because you've got the basic six here, then you had mangrove, oh, I am Apparently lagging. Oh well, I'll see how long I last for. I've been having some connection issues today. Uh, this one is for the warped and crimson woods. The thing is, since then we've had two new wood types being uh, bamboo and cherry. S oh my. Okay, I've. Oh. I've connected back. <laughs> yeah, so I have uh, two new wood types to add in there. But the thing is, it's really, this place is really inconvenient. The entire point of Stockholm is meant to be one big storage system. Like, each of these buildings has a unique use. You got wood, you got stone, you got wool, you got grass, you got food, you got, uh, that's the building. Yeah, so, this is turning into the center of Stockholm, the important stuff. And, and I have this sort of central pass-through here, where you can connect all the places. So what I thought I'd do is move all the wood from that building over to that area there, and then have the stone directly beneath it, and then also have the bricks, which is currently stored here, move them to there as well, and then have the red stack of redstone fine there. So and just have all the the integral blocks in this sort of area here, and then replace these bits here with, I don't know, less important stuff. I haven't decided what yet. I have decided what I'm going to do for this bit here, which is lag, apparently. Okay, I'm just going to be on the floor. Oh, great. Whee! Whee! Ah. Back. Uh, yeah, so this building right now is my, like, stone cutters, all the bricks and stuff. So what I might do is turn this into a smeltery. Make this into my super smelter, because I don't actually have one yet. And it would also make sense, because right around the corner is where you smelt the netherite, so... It would actually make a bit more sense there. So as you can see, I've got a big open area down here, so I'm going to put all the stones and stone bricks in this sort of bit, and then have a staircase that goes up into, hello, into, ooh, I've not lit this area, apparently. Ooh, can I get a music disc? Okay, he killed it. what I get, what I get, what I get? Ward. Cool. I don't actually know what that song sounds like. Ow! I would... Okay. Uh... Look, it's got a strike up there. See, I needed to build this building. I think I'll focus on the wood place for now. And then I'll do the lower area, since the lower area is a bit more freeform. And I can sort of base it when I base it on wherever the staircase will end up being, which is probably gonna be around here. So before I build I wanna build this one kind of interior out, I think, because I need to make sure I have enough storage. Cause right now there is how many wood types are there now? 
there's nine core woods, like overworld woods, and then there's two never woods. But they also said that they're gonna add all the biomes eventually, and the in the biome like announcements, I'm pretty sure there was at least two new wood types of palm and what's the other one? Bow 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 ab bow 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 the thick chunky savanna tree. That might end up being made of acacia, we don't know, but I'm going to leave some extra spaces open just so I don't need to expand in the future. So let's get some resources from... Oh, I wonder where I'll get them from. Perhaps... My building boxes. Yeah, and also having the landscaping... Or not, I think this, is landscape. this is not landscaping, this is architect. The architect's shop right next to everything is amazing. Place. Uh... I'm gonna get some barrels and some ladders and some chests and that should be everything for now. Okay, I'm running into an interesting issue right now. I get around like three minutes of gameplay and then I get disconnected so I'm kind of going into speedrun mode just putting out ideas as fast as possible just to do some quick testing because that did get placed. So this is what I'm currently working with. I've got 10 uh, barrels here and here and then through here we've got two sets more and then two sets more so I'm sort of keeping the same I'm keeping the same sort of uh, organization system as over there just really expanding it and then over here I'm gonna have sort of like a workshop area so now to try and build stuff around this see how long I can last until I lag out. Oh, there I go. <laughs> I'm just looking here. Is this weird? Should I have moved this over by like a block? Because I want to have like faux wood storage here. So you can sort of see like, oh, there's going to be some logs just sort of along the side. It'll be really hard to move over. Not hard, but it'll be annoying to move over. But I think I want to do it. Damn it. Okay. Let's hope I don't lag out during this process. I would have lagged. I've lagged out. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm back. I didn't actually get disconnected this time. It's slowly mending. <laughs> yeah, I think that's better. Okay, I'm going to have to move everything then. Great. So, it's now been moved over a bit. I haven't moved this, though. I've left that in the same location. I don't know if I'll keep it like that. I might move it forward a bit. What's it look like from the outside? Oh, this isn't. I, I didn't move this over. I thought it looked wrong. So next up is doing the roof, I suppose. And I don't know how I want the side bit because I want like a like a side canopy. So I'm thinking sort of duh, duh, duh. So keeping the regular triangle roofs for the central bit here. And then having like a bit that pokes out the side. So I need to figure out what height I want to do that at. And I think doing it at the same height as this, or maybe one block higher. The roof is now in place. I need to do some texturing on it still, but that's the like end of the line process. I just need to do the back. I've also pushed this wall back in a block. And on the inside, I've moved the staircase a smidge forward. Well, actually, no, I haven't. I'm planning on moving the staircase a smidge forward. And, oh, hello. Hello, friends. Um, just gonna ignore them for a second. Okay, I don't actually have any means to kill old Banner. So I'm just gonna let them kill him. Okay, ow. Well, shoot your friend. Shoot your friend. Thank you. Okay, I can kill them now. Ow. Thank you. Okay, good stuff. And I got a new banner to add to the collection. <laughs> so what I was thinking is, how do I make this look like a... Like, carpenters from this side? Because from this side, it's like, okay, yeah, that's that's got wood and such. For storage. But 
how do I make it look like a tr like a place that wood would be sorted out? And well, one way of doing that is putting a tree here. <laughs> Just having a tree that goes up a bit. Not as big as that one. Probably like a two by two rather than the three by three that one is. And because I don't want you to go up too high towards this tree, and I've just been disconnected. For now, I'm just going to focus on the interior and making it actually functional. So now to do the classic stork home, uh, like uh, rafters. Is that what they're called? I forgot. It's been so long since I've done any like stuff like this. I've missed it. I love doing interiors. I'll have just the. Uh, Run out of bricks, of course I have. Nope, I just lagged. Oh god, this building could have been done about an hour ago, but no, 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 no. Also, need some food. Okay, let's see how long I wait until I can actually do anything. Turned out I keep getting new messages, so it's not a consistent problem, which makes it extra fun to deal with. I don't love that actually. I think what I might do instead is have these like this. And then do some. Like this maybe? Do the same there and there. Okay. And then over here, I don't. This is a weird shaped room to try and detail. So I've got a few options. Can either do high beams or low beams. Let's try doing low first, see how that looks. So this makes it feel a lot more cramped and like, not cozy, but sort of... I think I want to vault this up a bit. And then if I just bring some rafters over here, push these further, and there we go. <laughs> God, it's so difficult. I might all change that back at some point, but for now I'll leave it like that, and I have lagged, so... Count down till I disappear from this world. Oh, this bread is tasty. Oh! I survived! Yeah. The room feels a bit imbalanced because of these barrels, I think. Oops. Yeah, I like that more. And that way it feels like this is more of a room, and then over here is the the downstairs bit. I just realized I also need to have somewhere to store sticks. Like, I guess anything miscellaneous wood types, like sticks and bamboo and stuff can go in there. Things I don't need large amounts of, but it's useful to have when I'm in crafting. And speaking of crafting, I need... I wish I could rummage through bundles. It's really annoying that I can't. Oh, let's make a new one. It's easier than getting it out of the bundle. <laughs> so if I put like a crafting table here, just so I have somewhere to actually theoretically do work in here. Okay, I've just had an idea and I don't know if it's a good idea or not. That is not a good idea because it's not central. <laughs> Okay, let's actually make it central and see what it looks like. I just don't love that this is sort of a straight through room. So what if I do something like this and then ha maybe have that as the crafting table or have it as a crafting table. Yeah, I think that's... I like. I, or maybe just have it go straight to the floor. I'll leave it as that for now and I can do some tweaking. I need to actually do the floor now that I think about it. So, usually I just do dark oak slabs for the floor, but I think since this is meant to be like a woodworker's place, he would have a floor that's a bit nicer. And I think I might go for sort of like a laminate feeling. So let's quickly go clear out... Not laminate. Uh, like a hardwood... You'll see what I mean. Okay, this is going to be a bit annoying since there isn't anything beneath. But uh, let's do some experimenting in this little cubby here. I might even have it so like different areas have different floors. So like in here it might be a bit stonier. Like have like brick flooring to 
make it more of a workshop and then this entrance area could have like a nicer floor so I think I'll do stripped dark oak so sort of got like a striped floor I think I like that yeah I'm gonna go with that and then over here I want to get some brick okay and then I think I might like add some cracked ones around the edges and yeah so like bits like this that's not stone where there would be a lot more foot traffic would sort of be a bit more worn out so I need to see where the staircase leads okay that's actually a pretty good uh pretty good stopping point actually yeah I like that okay that's perfect okay I, I think the only bit I don't like is this like transition yeah I think that that just that makes it make more sense in my little brain so oh started raining great so I've added a second floor and I really like it I want to try and get more sort of houses in this area and not just workplaces downstairs is like the carpenters and then upstairs is like the bedroom I've not detailed it yet I don't really know what to do with it just yet but we'll get to that but for now, I want to start working on the downstairs area. So my connection issues have escalated. <laughs> Servers are down. At least it's not just affecting me. But uh, this is the second video that's been cut short due to connection issues. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> and I should have a new video soon once the servers work. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.